front of you. Uh, I'm, I'm curious as to, A, how you decide when you want to do that, if that's something that you decide, like when you're bringing the ball up or if you see a certain amount of space in between the defender and you. And B, just 11 assists for you tonight. How, how did that come about? Uh, <clears throat> your first question is just uh, more of a rhythm thing, and uh, I kind of make that decision last second, you know, somebody's hands down or if I get a little space or, um, you know, also look at the clock and see how the game is flowing. It's a lot of stuff that go through my mind, you know, as I'm dribbling up the court. So um, it's good to have that shot in the back pocket, though. Um, but 11 assists, I think my teammates were available all night, and it was on me to to find them. Uh, Charlotte did a good job with just um, swarming the paint and swarming the basketball, and we, I think we made good decisions all night. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kevin. Um, with those 11 assists, I guess I'm, I'm wondering if the time you spent with various different groups when you were rehabbing, maybe playing with some of the bench players you don't play with as much in different rotations, this, that, and the other, if that helped your chemistry with kind of connecting with all of those guys? Um, no, I just think my experience in the league has helped me in any situation. I mean, I know, you know, what sets we run. I know what guys are going to be and where they like the ball. Um, but I am a, I am a scorer first, and I think that's what opens up my passing is when I'm aggressive to score, I can get my guys open and find them for open shots. So um, I just uh, just being in the league for so long and experiencing different defenses and sets, and I, you know I'm able to kind of adapt. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, uh, we're not going to talk to you tomorrow, I doubt. Uh, but so I wanted you to look ahead a little bit. Ten of the next thirteen are on the road. Do you see this as, as sort of a critical stretch for you guys uh, trying to get that, that top seed in the East? No, nah, I mean, obviously we want to win every game and play great basketball every time out, but it's not an emphasis to us. And it was not coming in with the one seed circled on the, on the whiteboard. I think uh, we want to stay healthy. We want to keep, um, I think, um, <clears throat> defensively, offensively, continue to find that groove that we're in. Um, and get everybody back, and we'll be fine. But uh, we also, we definitely want to win games. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, this is the first time we're talking to you since LaMarcus announced his retirement. I'm just wondering if you've been able to talk to him since then and your thoughts on his career and, and his situation. Yeah, I talked to him um, the night before he announced, and uh, he told me the news. I was definitely shocked because he looked great to me. I didn't feel like... Um, that's the last thing I was thinking about when I got that call. Um, but I'm happy he made this decision for himself, his family. Um, he played an incredible, you know, couple weeks here with us. But his 15 years in the league is was, you know, elite, you know, Hall of Fame level. And I can remember when I was uh, <clears throat> visiting Texas, he was my my host on my on my visit. And then to finish his last game to play with me it was pretty to play with him on his last game was uh was you know pretty surreal but i'm glad he made that decision i'm glad that he can move forward with his life ian begley with sny yeah, kevin sorry it's not a game question but just out of curiosity because it was such a big thing the other day have you heard from shannon sharp at all since the the twitter back and forth next question Tom Dowd of BrooklynNets.com. Kevin, when you guys get a team like Charlotte that allows a lot of three-point attempts and the way you guys usually shoot the three so well, do you see that as a, as a big opportunity, something you can really take advantage of? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I think Charlotte is so athletic. They uh, Sometimes they put two on the ball. They, they focus on the ball a lot. And if you don't move the basketball against them, um, your offense could get stagnant. I think 